Okay, so the first thing we need to do is press the play button on the scanner. This is gonna load up the preview mode. As you can see on screen, I'm now previewing Jack's face. I can walk all the way around and check that I can view all parts of Jack's torso and his head. If I need to, I can now change the brightness of the model. I can see if I go brightness up, I can see a little bit more and then less as I get too bright. Once I move to the ideal brightness setting and I'm happy that I can view all of Jack's face, press the play button again and I start scanning. Slowly moving around Jack's face, keeping the scanner parallel to him at all times to make sure I'm picking up all features. Now that I'm scanning the back of his head, I'm going to need a bit more brightness. I can do this whilst I'm scanning, so I'm getting his darker hair. Once I'm happy, I press the play button again and this finishes the scan. So now we've got the initial scan. If I zoom right in, as you can see, these are small points, small pixels. They're not actually joined together yet, which is why Jack looks a bit distorted. I'm gonna generate the points card now, which is going to put those points together, almost like chicken wire mesh, and bring those parts together. Once I've generated the points card, I can then mesh the model. This is gonna finalize all those parts together into polygons, so I can then export this model as an STL or use it as a template in any CAD software.